Hey y'all, I hope that you all are doing well. I just got in from service and actually today was my last day of going through Life Group University. I am now a Life Group leader at Lakewood. I've been going through a six week process of learning and developing as a leader. And this week or next week, I'll be starting a Life Group of my own. And many of you guys are probably wondering what in the world are Life Groups. I literally had the same question. Um, I had never heard of life groups. I'm from a very small town in North Carolina and we didn't do life groups. I know nothing of it. And so um, when I initially moved to Houston, which was last year, June 27th, it's now been a year and maybe two months that I've been here. And when I moved here, I remember saying to God, like, God, I need you to send people. You know, I have a twin sister for many of you all. Um, who've been following me for a while, you know that, and you've seen, seen her in some of my videos. But um, we're very close. And when I moved here, I didn't move here um, to be with family. I didn't move here, you know, know any, having any friends. I didn't know anybody. Like, literally, it was just me. And so after about three weeks of being here, I remember saying to God, like, God, I need you to send people. I need you to send some people that I can do life with. And immediately <laughs> um, felt led to go to Lakewood and in being there, um, I remember it was my birthday and on my birthday, I said, you know, I'm going to go to the Sunday night service. I think in the morning service, they mentioned, you know, the night service. And I was like, you know, I don't have anything to do for my birthday. I don't know anybody yet. So I'm going to go to the night service. And so when I went, I was just like, whoa, this is like amazing. Going to the night service, it's really like nothing you've ever experienced. It's not like your typical church service. It For me, it felt like a rock concert. Like everybody's up there, they're hype, like everybody's jumping around. You know, the music is like amazing. And so I just really enjoyed myself. And that night they began talking about life groups. And when I heard them share about life groups, they were sharing that it's pretty much a moment for you to connect with other people who are like-minded to build relationships and things like that. And I'm like, God, this is what I've been asking for. And so I got connected to a life group and immediately I fell in love with the girls and we began doing life together. You know, we meet every other Tuesday and, you know, do we just talk about life experiences? You know, it's kind of a way to have an outlet, you know, when your week is kind of hectic and you, you know, maybe been dealing with something or maybe just want, need somebody to talk to. Um, that's what life groups are for. And we have a moment where we, we, we discuss the message from Sunday night and um, we just build relationships. It's just centered around the heart of life groups are just pretty much connectedness to be able to develop and do life with other people. We're not meant to do life as we're not meant to be like an island. We are meant to do life with other people. We're not meant to do it in isolation. And so this kind of just eliminates that factor of you having to feel like you have to go through life. You have to figure things out on your own. You just have an outlet, a means of having people to talk to, having people to share with. And it's just such a beautiful thing that I've been able to see unfold within this, um, this year that I've been here. And now I'm a life group leader, uh, which just was finalized today. And so um, I'll be sharing with you guys. I'll come up here and I'll, I'll share with you all um, when mine will actually start and what day I'm going to be having it on. I'd love for you all to come out. Now, I just want to warn you, like, this is not a moment. Yes, we can talk about natural hair, but this is not necessarily something that's targeting or directed towards natural hair. I'd love to, you know, answer your questions and things like that. But this is a moment of just being able to share life experiences more so about more personal things aside from hair. You know, I'm not saying that I won't discuss hair, but you know, it's more so just getting to know you all, getting to the heart of what's going on in your life and just helping and just being a means of sharing. And um, so we'll just do that, you know, one night during the week, it'll probably be about six or seven, probably seven um, in the evening. And if you're in the Houston area, I'd love for you to come and be a part. It would be so awesome to be able to meet you all and just share in that way. Um, this month at Lakewood, for Lakewood Young Adults, we're actually doing a series on relationship relationships, which you all know is like my hot topic. Like I love relationships. I love talking about love. I've said that in many of my videos and you guys have seen many of my videos related to love and relationships. So the series that we're doing this month is called Blank Spaces and it's pretty much inspired by Taylor Swift's song. 
Blank Spaces, I think that's the name of it, but um, there's a line in her song that pretty much says something about Blank Spaces and how she's going from um, X to X, you know, and, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't mind um, having relationships with different people, you know, having one person Xing that person out and then now having a new person and then, you know, X just that she has a blank space, you know, and I'll write your name. Like you could be that next person. And so, um, we're just kind of in this season or in this month, just sharing how God can be that person that fills that, that space that, you know, having people or, you know, guys and girls, you know, for guys that might be watching, you know, filling those spaces may not always be healthy, but rather taking, um, the things in our lives, the voids and filling them with Jesus. Like he can be the best thing ever to fill those voids. He can be what fills the gaps. What is that compensating factor? And so um, we're just going to be sharing this month about relationships. And next month is actually when we talk about sex and things like that. So I'd love for you all to come out. Um, the service starts at 7. Um, feel free to come over and say hi. I'd love to meet you all. Um, but I really want you guys to try to come out any night that you can and, um, consider, you know, being a part of life groups. Um, many of you all may have been, you know, wanting to develop relationships with others in the community or in the city, and you may not know how to do that. This is such a great way to do that. So you all can comment down below, let me know if this is something that you're interested in, or you can send me an email letting me know that you would be willing or you desire to come to life groups. Um, I'm a leader. Um, I do it with another individual. And the night of life group, we'll just kind of, you know, have moments where we just discuss and, you know, maybe eat something, you know, talk to one another and just, you know, maybe delve into uh, the message from Sunday night, just talking about that briefly. But it's really just the heart of life groups is just connectedness and just building relationships and I would love to be able to share with you all so um I look forward to hearing from you all feel free my email address I usually leave in the description box feel free to shoot me an email and I'll follow up with you and I'll let you know for sure what the date is I'll try to do another video but I can actually um personally email you all to let you know when I'll actually be doing it so I look forward to hearing from you guys and as always I love you all have a blessed week and I'll talk to you soon bye